Welcome back. So Chrome OS 133 has just started to roll out Chromebooks. So in this video, I'm going to take you through some of the updates you're going to notice. First up, I'm on a Chromebook Plus here, and you can notice both of these windows now have rounded corners. So yeah, if you have a Chromebook Plus, you're going to get these rounded corners on all app windows. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. Let me know if you're going to miss out on having that if you don't have a Chromebook Plus model or if you're just not bothered. Second, there's an enhanced welcome tool. So testing so far, this part of the welcome tool that you're seeing on screen now looks the same to me. So I don't think that part has changed. But once you're past that and then you're into the Explore app, that's when things look a little bit different. So you see this Get Started area. If I click Show All, you can see there's even more icons here. And basically it's different areas tailored, I think both to your user and to the type of Chromebook you're on. So for example, you may not see the do more with Google AI if you're not on a Chromebook Plus, I'm not sure, or it may tailor some of that information. Um, and it's different areas with help and information and a kind of tour of how you would do those things on a Chromebook. So if I click into find and organize apps, for example, you'll see it comes up with all of this relevant information. If I then say I've completed that area, or even if I've just opened it for a second and click back, you'll notice on that same area now, it's got a tick and done next to it. So if you click on it at that point, it'll then actually remove it from the list. So you can work through these different kind of bite-sized areas of information to learn about Chrome OS and do more. I did also test logging in with a brand new user. And again, I say it's tailored to that user because you'll see some things on getting started with Chrome OS that'll be different there if you haven't ever used Chrome OS before. I do think this update in general is controlled outside of Chrome OS 133, as I've seen the update appear on Chromebooks with versions of the OS as old as 131, but again, let me know what you're seeing. Thirdly, the Screencast app now supports over 50 languages, so you can find Screencast in your launcher, click into it. So this is a tool primarily for teachers to record lessons or tutorials, and the language side of things comes into play as it will create a transcript for you as well. So that's where now supporting over 50 languages is really going to be a game changer for a lot of teachers globally. I think this has got legs outside the classroom as well, so do let me know if you've ever used it. The fourth update I want to talk about relates to audio. So there's a new toggle for Bluetooth mic super resolution. So you're not going to see it on my screen here, but I may have to just overlay a screenshot if I can. So this setting is only going to appear if you have a Bluetooth mic or headset that supports it, but it's nice to see another audio improvement. So recently back in Chrome OS 130, we saw the introduction of this studio style mic, and it sounds like it's just another audio improvement alongside that for a Bluetooth headset. So the fifth update to show you is related to accessibility. So if you click into that area in the settings app, and then you want to look for the keyboard and text input area. So right here, so we're going to click into there. And then towards the bottom, you're going to see bounce keys. So this is the new feature, just make that a bit bigger for you. So as you can see, it says that it's going to ignore quickly repeated presses of the same keyboard key. So that could be particularly useful if you have limited dexterity or tremors, for example. So if you're hitting a key twice accidentally, you don't want the OS or whatever you're typing in to be showing that key up or using that key. So let's turn this on by clicking on it there. You can then see you can set the time delay before activating the same key again. So obviously in some cases you will want the same key repeated, um, but you can tailor this in time to your particular needs and you can obviously play around with it and see what works. Um, if I go as far as one second, for example, and then open a Google Doc, and if I start hitting the same key, so I'm hitting it several times, but it's just not picking it up because it's within that one second limit. If I now press it again after a second, it's going to show it. So another nice improvement to accessibility in Chrome OS, adding to what we've seen in Chrome OS 131 and 132. So you can check those videos out now by clicking on the cards on the left hand side of the screen or try the video on the right if you want to go with YouTube algorithms recommendation. Cheers.